Just for the record, the sermon works better than you talk to him. <laughs> and during this period of assessment, we need to revisit the vision, the purpose, and the mission statements of the church. We need to critically look to examine my brothers and my sisters to see are we doing what we say we should be doing. Amen. Among the tough, tough questions that we must ask ourselves are, is our vision, is the vision of Bronx Tremont still in line with God's vision? But certainly, you can speak from this church. This church. Amen. Are the ministries of this church relevant and meeting the needs of the people? Because the pews are almost full, it is clear that the ministry of this church are meeting the needs of the people inside. But we must also ask, are our ministries meeting the needs of the people outside? Because I still see space in the pews. Amen. Preach on. Now that God has brought you through 126 years of ministry. Where does God want you to go from here? You see, after the celebration, after the concerts, after all of the accolades, We still have to get back to ministry. Yes. Ministry does not stop. Just because the lights of the church go out, because the musician closes the organ, because the pastor locks the door, ministry still must go on. Amen. And God has brought you through a hundred and twenty. Six years. Not for you to just pack it in. <laughs> no. But to pause. To consider how far God has brought you and where God wants you to go from here. I won't be long this morning. But as we examine the text, we read about a man named Moses. 